Logan with Grandma's Guns. Today we're taking a look at the H&R Ultra Slug. Um, it's a rifled bull barrel, 12 gauge. Um, it's got an extension on it. For the hammer, I don't know if you can see that. See it here. Um, it's a single shot. It does have an ejector on it. Um, fully rifled barrel, and it is a heavy barrel. I mean, it's... A 12 gauge bull barrel from what I understand it's a 10 gauge barrel uh, bored out to be 12 gauge I mean this thing is dead accurate out to about 125 yards with these light field see that these light fields seem to be the best I can get them to shoot you can stack them at uh, these are the hybrid expansions two and three quarters um, you can stack these you know, tight group at 100 yards with this gun. And uh, I grew up in Maryland, so uh, the county that I grew up in, you had to use a shotgun. So this was what everyone used for a long time until uh, they came out with the bolt action um, Savage. And then a lot of people, I think it's the Savage 220. And then a lot of people started switching to that. And now you can use a straight wall cartridge. So this is kind of obsolete for hunting there anymore. Um, Pretty much sits in the safe now um, now that you can use straight wall and uh, live somewhere else but anyway it's dead accurate I mean it's got the trigger is pretty good <laughs> I mean it's uh you know things with a hammer you pull back and it uh it is right there um, one of the downfalls or two of the downfalls it's a single shot and it is heavy I mean it's Real heavy. You got to be a uh, you got to be pretty strong to keep this thing uh, off hand and shoot stuff. Um, if I were going to get it one again, I think I might go with the twenty gauge just because it's lighter and the twenty gauge shells are still pretty powerful. And you probably get better better trajectory out of it. Ballistics be able to shoot a longer way. And I've heard that people that have those are happy with them and their accuracy. But from what I understand, the Savage Two Twenty is even better than that. That's the bolt action Savage and 20 gauge. Um, from what I understand, those are pretty nice. I just have a Bushnell scope on it, nothing fancy. I did. Tr I have tried other slugs through it. Those uh, Hornady SSTs, I could not get, I might get two to group. And then I have a flyer that shoots a foot off, which I think I ended up missing a deer because of that. But uh, you live and you learn. So anyway, um, if you live in a shotgun only area, I would recommend it. Um, I'd probably go with the 220 or a 20 gauge in this. But uh, if you hit them with it, it uh, puts a hell of a hole in them and puts them down pretty quick. So anyway, just a quick quick overview and the thoughts of this. And then you're probably going to want to put a uh, something to hold your slug so you can get another one in there real quick if you need to. Um, but anyway, good gun. I like it, but I'd probably go with... Uh, 20 gauge in this or the Savage 220, something like that. But anyway, see you on the next one.